All right, John, what basement are you hiding in right now? <laughs> Just the normal dorm. You should recognize it. I like that. That does not look normal. Chandler's looks normal. What? Uh, do you not have the lights on? Yeah, some, yeah. Oh, also, I see. Do you I not have like, like any I decoration don't. at all? <laughs> it's well, not easy to. It's on top of my. Uh, okay, oh. you are under your bed. That's why. Oh, yeah. okay. I see. I see. It wasn't clear that you were under the bed. It looked like you were <laughs> hiding under something. I don't know what it was. Yeah. It's like the top half just cut off. Yeah. Okay, well, don't go too low on that. Uh, this is the Experian Podcast with me and someone else. Oh, yeah, and someone else, sure. Someone else? All right, we have John and Chandler back. Chandler, go ahead and talk about Josh. Let's just start oh, by ripping on Josh. Oh, yeah, Josh was like, oh, I'm going to go to a rave with my friends, which already, like, even if you're wearing masks, I think is kind of a bad idea. But it's I don't not... think you should go to, I don't think you should go to a rave in normal times. I, I, that, that's, okay, maybe, but... <laughs> So Josh? he's like, all right, I'm going to go to a rave. And then he's he asked his friends, like, hey, what's the mask policy going to be like? Which you should have asked in the first place before committing to this. And then he's like, yeah, they said there's no masks, so I'm not going anymore. I'm like, well, I'll give you that. That's smart. But every step before this should have been, <laughs> like, that should have been the first thing you asked before committing, like, a week ago to this. Yeah. Anyway, that was just, what's we it? were on the topic of canceling things. What's the end of that idea for? For the music, or is it? I don't know, he just, I think his friends just mentioned it, and he was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go to a rave. His friends that aren't you. Yeah. Sounds like Chandler's just jealous he didn't get an invite. Oh, no, I don't, like, the, these are, like, friends that I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've never been to a rave. I have been in a mosh pit. And that's, I feel like, a similar experience. Uh, go ahead what and describe genre it in music? detail. Yeah. Describe being in a mosh pit in detail. I mean, I don't know, you just kind of jump around. I got punched in the face. Not intentionally. Um, Was this during the mosh pit, or just this is just separate? Uh, it, it, <laughs> it was during the mosh pit. Okay. okay. Uh, I think she just didn't notice me, and she just, like, flailed back and just oh. nailed me in the nose. I think you've mentioned that before, yeah. Yeah, uh, but it was fun. It's like I don't know. I don't really. I don't really know how to describe it. I've also crowd surfed. Crowd surf was very fun, although I didn't want to. It just kind of happened to me. So I was at this. I was at this. Uh, I was at this concert, and my hand was like up in the air, not really for any particular reason, just kind of like you know, pointing up in the air, like woo, like you know, we're having fun, we're having a good time. Uh, then this dude in front of me uh points up and i'm like i like point back up to him i'm like what do you mean what do you i like looking confused at him but i think he took me pointing up again as confirmation and proceeded to just this was a very large man just pick me up and throw me into the crowd pretty much and then uh yeah that just happened it and you are not a large man not, not non-consensual <laughs> crowd surfing Okay. I've been talking this whole time. What have y'all been up to? Yeah, John, go ahead. Oh, nothing really. I'm bored as hell. All right, well, you know, that's, it. <laughs> that's the podcast. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's John Roberts, everyone. Have you been on the podcast yeah. before, John? Yeah, a couple times, I think. It's, it's been a while. Yeah. I'm not his most sought-after guest. I usually fill in for people. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You two were very sought after this time. There were no other options. For oh, today. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This was it. This, this is the crew. Well, like, you know. Not, not everyone have... responds evenly, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You usually have four people, so. don't you? And I got a lot of no's, too. So it's, uh, I think, oh, no, I have a couple tomorrow's episodes, really, uh, or tomorrow's recordings. That's going to be uh, a big crowd. I don't want to tease anything. Five. But, uh, oh, okay. No spoilers? Yeah, of course. 
Yeah, Peter Tilly just just never respond. He left me on red. Um, Oof. Uh, what a Peter Tilly move. Well, he didn't read the message until a month later. Ow. And now it's been <laughs> another month. And so I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's... Uh... He's just not interested. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, GroupMe sucks about notifications. If you're putting a bunch of them, you won't even yeah. see a PM from someone. You are right. for... you no, are I agree. Right. Yeah. I, I agree. hate that aspect of it. It's easy for me because I can just, you know, go on to people. It's, you know, it's easy to consolidate people. Mm-hmm. That's you just what make I have. one big group me with options. <laughs> with options? <laughs> yeah, you'll have your top <laughs> tier options and then your middle tier options and your low tier make, options. All right, you can Daniel, go in order. I want you to make a tier list of everyone that's ever been on the podcast. Who is I mean, you could do the math. Are... It's not just a, like, I wouldn't say the, the amount of times that you come on is not necessarily reflective of how much I like you, right? Some of it's just like availability and like, yeah. your, the guests, uh, uh, frequency of saying yes you know As some people i like some people i try to get on a ton and they never say yes and then some people i don't want on and they keep saying yes chandler being one of them and uh yeah <laughs> Fair no, i gotten three straight no's from dan um oh, oh come on <laughs> yeah I, dan, dan is i mean old woman with sticks is your best episode <laughs> yeah he could only go down from there <laughs> Just finish it off. That was his peak. So I mean, it's 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 tough. The, I'd say the hardest part of doing a podcast is getting guests. It's not even a joke. Like it's just it's a struggle. John Roberts is just so busy. That reminds me of the uh, quote I was gonna put for my senior quote or whatever on that page. I was gonna put that. Uh, who was I had it up here? The hardest part of playing the trumpet is the actual physical effort of making the sound. And that's it. Some like pro pro trumpet player I was like you know it's it's on that dry humor shit I like that good it's good yeah I, I see I see what you're saying yeah. I heard the volume of the laughter that really indicated it for me you can kind of make it on a scale of decibels how loud the laughter response is mm-hmm. <laughs> all right <laughs> you have to use decibels <laughs> because it's more of a logarithmic kind of curve the way sound works. If you don't, but it's you're clearly been you'd get, very you'd get bored. Some big numbers, man. I mean, is that what you've been doing this whole time, John? Yeah, I've done I mean, some audio acoustics. production. You can fill a listener zone. It's been uh, like seven months since you've been on. Eight months. So, uh, me fill in the timeline. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, Save for the MCAT this summer. I really and you are a doctor that. now officially. Not not quite. I'm still applying to med school. Well, I'm still waiting on replies. I got a reply from one school so far. Happy about that, at least. That's good. That's it. That's that's uh, that is what he's been up to. That is eight months of uh, well, hard well, work. Well, I've done. I've done a a really light course load this semester because I'm so burned out. And I've I just been that. wasting time watching YouTube videos and like editing shitty memes. Well, you've always done that. That's not like uh, a <laughs> yeah, but in thing. video form. More time to do in that video now. form. Okay, okay. Hmm. You're upgrading your. Uh, yeah, I'm moving on from the skills. image formats. Of course. Society has surpassed the need for images. Yeah. Well, John's just keeping up with the times, as he always does. As yeah. should be expected, right? And uh, Chandler, it's been five ago? years. I was gonna say it's been five years since you've been on. Five wow. years, yes, of course. You called me back when I was in high school. I didn't even know who you were, <laughs> and you were just like, "Come talk to this dude for an hour." Well, I, I don't even remember when you were trying to find it. Go ahead and say what you were gonna say. I'll try to find. It. Uh, I don't know. Not. Was it? I mean, so. I did not. So for the entirety of spring, I wasn't on because I was in Europe. Well, I was in Europe for like three quarters of the semester before everything happened. Uh, what? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. The beer we just got sent home over. for no reason. Wow, you guys, you guys just okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. They just didn't tell us why. It was weird. Um, <laughs> but no, so Europe was fun. I did DTL, which is, I mean, I feel like a lot of people do DTL, so a lot of people know how it is, but. 
still very fun. Uh, came back quarantined in a Airbnb for two weeks because back then we didn't know anything about it. So I was like, I might still have it. Uh, I so was, was hoping you were going to say quarantine in like a porta potty. <laughs> Just sat there. Was it a good air and Airbnb? Oh, it was great. It was, I basically, it was like 10 minutes outside of the Atlanta airport in Hapeville. Uh, and I just, it was, it was a surprise, like it was really cheap and it was like a surprisingly nice little place. It was just such a bizarre experience because I was like, I didn't really have school because they kind of canceled it for a while while everyone was coming home. So I didn't have anything to do. And all of my friends were still doing school. So none of them could talk. So I just kind of was in this bizarre limbo for like two weeks in a town I didn't know. <laughs> it was a weird experience. Uh, but then I came back home, just finished off school, had summer. Uh, now I'm here. I looked at back, you were last on a little over a year ago, last October. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, last October. Will you get him in next October? Yeah, yep. He's only <laughs> by <That's> October. Fine. <laughs> I would have Chandler on plenty, but he's just such a busy guy lately. Yeah, I've, I've been uh, I've been doing more stuff. This semester isn't too bad, surprisingly. Like, I'm not taking that many credit hours, but I'm doing a VIP, and also just I'm taking some pretty heavy courses. So I thought it would be harder, but not that bad. What are what are tests like for you? What's the work? The, How is it set up for you? So I only have one in-person class, and that is 3741, which uh, uh, most everyone who is an engineer has to take that, I think. It's not particularly fun, but it's, like, fine. Uh, and then everything else is just completely online. Like, technically, my... Aerodynamics professor does teach in person, but he just streams it all online. So it's like, why go? Why risk that's, getting COVID? That's how the only class I have that's like that is, yeah. Exactly. I, I've it's never like gone. Why? I don't see why, mm -hmm. yeah. Just mm -hmm. stay home. But, but I mean, at this point, like? I've already... The tests, the same thing. They just basically open the assignment for two hours or however long it is, and then close the assignment. You just have to do it. And see it. No, that annoying honor lock. Honor lock. The, I, I have not crap. had... I have, I have I, not had to use honor lock yet, thankfully. I'm lucky too in that regard. Yeah, I'm really glad. For the kids at home, just go that. through go through honor lock. <laughs> what did you say? Go through honor lock. This is for the kids. Go through. Oh, honor you also lock. saw. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. It's just a test taking. It, it's an integrity kind of thing. It monitors your webcam and audio. It tries to prevent cheating. On exams, yeah, I, but I mean, I, I had I had to use it over the summer for because I took a couple oh. of summer classes, just like not difficult classes. Basically, got my humanities out of the way, uh, but it, it was annoying to say the least. Because like, if, if you like look outside of the frame for like two seconds yeah. for whatever reason, it's like that's it, you're a cheater. That's, yeah, that's what done. I've heard. I would hate mm -hmm. that so much, man. Chandler, have you ever considered not cheating? Have I ever considered not cheating? Um, no. Okay. That's on. He took a big sharpie. Yeah. He took a sharpie and wrote it really big on the wall, so he'd only Just, have to glance. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> Just real, real quick. My walls are covered covered in formulas. Honestly, there's there's got to be a way to subvert that. Doing something, you know, with it, it, cutting over whatever kind of um, restrictions it puts on your multitasking or your computer. There's got to be a way. I thought I've read about stuff, but maybe they update too quickly. I'm I'm sure. I mean, if someone does know right around it, they probably aren't going to tell anyone because as soon as they tell anyone, yeah, someone finds out and then it's patched. That's true. So, who knows? What about, what about you, Daniel? How, what, have, what have you been up to? How, how, Thanks, guys. How's the yeah. last year been? Thank you for listening to the podcast. Um, well, you know, I graduated in, again in May. You know? Yep. And did you, uh, did you actually know that? No. <laughs> okay. 
you're just like, man, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, exactly. I guess, <laughs> I guess you guys don't though. see you don't see that many people in general, though. I'm assuming so. Yeah. A little Ooh. different. No, I mean just because of the pandemic, you're not like going yeah. out and seeing people. Oh. You're not well. going to run into each other as much. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't a Chandler. Yeah. yeah. That was not a Chandler doesn't have any friends joke. I, we've already oh, okay, exhausted okay. those. Yeah, we we right, did those already. Are, they're all gone. You already used yeah. everyone. Yeah, we already we already used our three. Uh, <laughs> I got a job in upstate New York, so I'm here. Uh, yeah, pretty permanently. Yeah. And that's it. Um, that's the life. I've talked about. You want to talk about your line of work on the podcast? You I've talked about it a lot. Interesting. On, Oh, okay. I've talked a lot about it. I, I, I work at a nuclear power plant. That's that's what I'm doing. Huh. I operate and work as an operator. Technically, right now, I'm in I'm basically in school. Like, I have class. I came, just came from class. I have a test on Tuesday. It's on stuff, you know. It's like all, that school. Like, you know, you go through all that crap, and you're going right back in. You go right back to school. Yeah, I have, like, six months of this, of, like, classroom school. And then, uh, oh, that's not too bad, though. Then I have on the job. Training. Well, then it's like more on the job training for another like four or five months. It's about a year just of training before you can actually do stuff, which makes sense. You don't want like random people working at a nuclear power plant. Yeah. That's you don't want Chandler definitely... showing up. No. I'm just going, I... whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know. That makes sense. I have so, no idea. Yeah. Oh, I thought some more was. Chandler, are you cheating? Keep your eyes on the... <laughs> Keep your eyes on the podcast. What's going on? Is Josh Roden outside with the shirt off? Uh, Probably. I can probably see. I don't know. If anyone's interested in listening to Josh, you would probably pop in for three seconds. If he refuses to come on the podcast, even though uh, we've definitely asked him several times. Has he been on? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I, really? I've been on with Dan, and I've been on with Peter. I've not been on with... Uh, with anyone else, I don't think. No, Katie. I went on with Katie once. You're on with Katie, yeah. Oh, Katie. She's another one. Just ignore <laughs> me, you know? Yeah, she's she's not interested. <laughs> she's talked to me about it. She was like, why is Daniel still still trying to contact me? I've made it clear. I don't want to go on the podcast. <laughs> she has, to be fair, she has not exactly made it clear. I mean, I figured it out, obviously, but... Uh, How many I asked her, like, twice. It wasn't even... No, I asked her once. No, no, no. Before you give up on someone long-term. What? Have you ever given up on someone ever coming on the podcast? Uh... Never given up on someone. <laughs> you want me to start calling yeah, people out? Uh, <laughs> uh, there's... Mm, I wouldn't say I've given up on people. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't think. You know, I would. I only ask people I think would want to come on. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, Katie. I asked once, and that was it. It's not like I've been bugging Katie. Okay, so don't let her. Okay. You run that back to her. Okay. Yeah. I have receipts. Right, okay. in your head. <laughs> now, and that was three months ago. So. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Everyone else, I, I haven't really given up. I mean, uh, maybe Chandler. That's that's as close as it gets. But you, you still ask me again, and here I am. <laughs> that's true. I figure. What do you? What else do you do? I mean, I don't know. I. <laughs> I guess you know what Peter <laughs> might be close. Peter's probably close to to give up territory because he's just just not been responding at all. Just not responsive. Mm -hmm. It's harder for me now because I can't just you know pull you into my apartment. I gotta send you a message across the country. Yeah, you, you can't gotta... go by the back of the collar right out of band practice. Just drag <laughs> exactly. I only did that to you once, John. Okay, it's a. <laughs> That was a neat little setup though that one day. They were uh, cooking and microwaving stuff in the background. Made a nice oh, little ambiance. Of stuff. ambiance. Yeah. Yeah, we should do We've done a couple cooking episodes. Anyway, do you guys want to play the game or, or what? What game? Play the game. What is the game? Have you guys never played? I, I might have. Is it the oh, is this thing the one with the yes or no questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, you both yeah, have played. Is yeah. game? Is it's called questions or answers. It's called questions or answers. Okay. You said game. Am I being scored? No, there's no score. I feel like I'm being great. There's plenty of questions you guys definitely have not answered. Uh, All right, sure. Oh, okay. Some are better than others, obviously. 
Okay, who wants to go first? I'll go. go ahead, John. All right, John's going first. Let's start with one that relates to him. Hot tub or hot bath? Wait, what? Hot tub or hot bath? Oh. Hot tub. No, 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 wait, wait. Hot shower. <laughs> hot shower. That was wait, not wait, enough. Wait. I mean, both you hot tub and hot bath. Two. It's, a, it's an option if you're a, uh, <laughs> a Chance the Rapper fan. That was his best album ever, dude. Wasn't it? I've never listened to a Chance the Rapper. Oh, dude, no. I... <laughs> It's just, you just gotta watch reviews of it. It's hilarious. Like, his old stuff was listenable, but, like, he just... <laughs> <laughs> Dang, all right. You just, it's something you just gotta hear, I guess. I, so, yeah, what's I, your I guess answer? So. Yeah, answer? Oh, oh, wait, we're both answering the same questions? I thought so. No, nah, you can do whatever you want. That's what. Oh, okay. <laughs> the Taylor uh, has I, input. I, I, my input is uh, hot bath because I certainly don't want other people while I'm trying. Because hot tub implies like there's other people there. Like, you know, there's a hot tub. Doesn't have to people. be. Doesn't have Not to be. Not necessarily, but that's just what I think. I, I, I'm going to say hot bath. It feels more. Look, they're both pretty gross, okay? Um, <laughs> as John, as the doctor here, can you uh, talk about that? Okay, thank you, John. Getting, uh, in hot, getting in a hot tub might melt your uh, feet like Play-Doh. It might, might make them more malleable. That's my expert opinion. <laughs> next question. <laughs> okay, John. Next, next question. Are ponytails bad for your hair? So. You both have been known to rock ponytails. Uh, so of course. I'd like to... I could probably make one now. I've got my hair so damn John, long. John's uh, might be long enough, yeah. Okay, no. I'll say yeah. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah, I think it's bad for your hair, yeah. It'll probably make it fall out at a faster rate, but probably not for your hair. I'm going to say head. probably not. Crosswalk or sidewalk? A... Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you have more input on ponytails? Well, I was going to say, I, I guess it depends on what you consider bad. Like, is losing hair is, as it normally happens, is that a bad thing? Is anything <laughs> bad? Is morality real, John? Yeah, I mean, that's a really good question. You should include that in the format. <laughs> I'll put that in there. I'll, I'll make sure to edit that. Um, For future guests, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Crosswalk or sidewalk? Uh, crosswalk. I was going to say sidewalk. Yeah, you're living on the edge there, John. Crosswalk is I love jaywalking, dude. Actually, I jaywalk. I kind of, you know. Well, if you're jaywalking, I usually have then why are you using the crosswalk? You make an effort. Well, I don't always uh, cross the crosswalk when the walk Ooh. sign is on. Oh, it's on. oh, okay. I see, I see. Oh. I have a pretty liberated mentality about that, okay? In Atlanta, those, always, those don't always work anyway. No. Yeah, it's Especially annoying as hell. That one by GLC, yeah. They don't always work. Uh, yeah. Are picnic tables uncomfortable? Yeah, I'd say so. You need a they back can. to a chair usually. But also the bottom is not comfortable. Like, Sometimes I'll have cushions on them though, right? A little padding. Picnic tables? thought so. Sometimes I'll put I a think... little spread down. It can be a, like a... Oh. <laughs> I don't know. A thin napkin down? What do you think, Chandler? I, I, if we're talking about, like, the classic picnic table design, yes, those are not particularly comfortable. But, like... You're sitting on, yeah, you're sitting on hard wood. But there are tables that could be considered picnic tables that are, that are more comfortable, that are, that have different designs. But if we're talking about your average run-of-the-mill picnic table, yes, they are uncomfortable. Okay. You weren't, Daniel. You weren't gonna make a joke about sitting on hard wood. No, there's another hard. There's <laughs> another hard. Oh, that. That was I a was like, it's ball, coming. Buddy, I know a... it's coming. There's another hardwood question. Anyway, <laughs> is, is whole milk just cream? Oh. Yes. 
Whoa, a, you're the first like, one that's ever it's said like yes diet. to that. It's like diet cream. Cream? <laughs> is whole milk more whole milk or diet cream? Whole milk is, whole is milk the is skim cream. milk of cream. <laughs> I mean, I guess However there's just works. a spectrum from skim milk to cream. To cream. Yeah. And whole milk is in the middle, so it could go yeah, either it's way. Dead, dead. It's, it, it's like pH 7, except creaminess. Yeah, it could go either way. Okay, no, that's a good tip. I've never heard that. I've asked this question to, you know, dozens of people, and no one's ever said that before. <laughs> most people are disgusted by the question, as with most of them. Uh, door handle on the left or the right? Right, most people are right-handed. Uh, yeah, if it's well, on the right know. side, you're opening it, yeah. If you're opening it, like, into yourself. I'm, I'm think like you want to open it like 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 the door right here. I have door that everyone can see each I other. I open it yeah. and I pull it to the right. Well, I guess it depends on if it's push or pull. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking about the, the mechanic door, of just grabbing it. Ah. Oh, so John's more of a grabber. Chandler's right. more of, more of a puller. If it if it hmm. if it's well, a push door, I don't think it matters because you don't have to use your hands in the first place. You just pump yeah. it with your shoulder so you don't have to touch it. You just walk up to doors and just shove your body into them? <laughs> Dude, in high school, I used no, to I like run my, up and I, kick I use them whatever open. I'm holding as a battering ram. And just... Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, next question. <laughs> next question. Here we go. Hardwood or carpet? There it is. Uh, well, as you know, Daniel, I like sitting on hardwood, as we mentioned in the picnic table question. It'll leave that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like they both have their inputs. But they have their, not inputs, their uses. Outputs. Yeah, they, they both have their purposes. Okay. I don't think you can have one without the other. This, my apartment right now is like basically all carpet, except for the kitchen and bathroom. Yeah, I was about to say, you can't have carpet in the kitchen. That, you can't do that. No, 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 the kitchen and bathroom are not, but everything else is just carpet, which is, you know, good and bad, obviously. I keep it clean, so it's fine, but... Mm -hmm. I'm assuming once it starts to like snow and stuff, it's going to be tougher to, to maintain. Yeah. Peanut I'm butter or jelly? Look up hardwood. Uh, oh, peanut, butter or jelly. Mm. peanut butter or jelly? It's a tough one. I like them combined, but if I gotta pick one, I'll say jelly. Yeah, I think I would say jelly too. I think I use more more jelly than more than <laughs> peanut butter. Where are you using the yeah, jelly? My mom makes them with so much peanut butter, you can't even taste the jelly. It's like, I don't get the point. Just make a peanut butter jelly. Yeah. I mean, a peanut butter sandwich, period. I mean. Yeah. I, uh, I, so, I eat a decent amount of Greek yogurt just because it's a really easy snack and you can buy it in, like, the big tubs. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I usually toss in, like, half a spoonful of jelly and then some granola and stir it all around. It's good. Oh, that sounds good. You get those uh, cherry preserves. I usually get raspberry, yeah. 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 Blueberry. I love those preserves. They'll have them beside the traditional jelly flavors or whatever. Mm hmm I gotta get more. Um, are cupcakes just muffins with icing? No, a muffin is denser. Yeah, it's a different composition, I think. Okay. Really asking the heart. All right, can I, all right, can I briefly interrupt this yeah, go for ahead. my own question? So, okay. did y'all did y'all see the poll in the band chat I sent a while back about forks and spoons? Uh, oh, no, oh yeah. I'll, I'll fill it out. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Do you, do you know the oh. question, John Roberts? Oh wait, you're talking about way back. No, 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 like not like, not like way way back. Like, like yeah, yeah a, couple like weeks. a week or two ago. Oh no, I didn't see Basically, it. Basically, situational, it's situational awareness, right? Hmm. Yeah, so, so the question is, if you are given on the same plate a dessert that you usually eat with a fork, like cake, and a dessert you usually eat with a spoon, like ice cream, do you use a fork or do you use a spoon? For the both of them. Uh... Yes. I mean, I'd say a spoon because it's more versatile. You don't really need it to be perfectly flat on the edge like a fork all the time, right? I mostly agree with you. However, I have 
I I I'm not I'm not I'm not one of the people that's like, oh, spoon is the only right way. I just like hearing people's input. I think the hmm. most interesting take that I've seen is Adams in the chat. He said a spoon is definitely like the logical choice, but a fork just feels better. And while I disagree, I think that's the most interesting take I've seen. You I think you would have to worry about the ice cream melting though, right? If I agree, so I, I still think a spoon is better. I think it's because if you are eating and you have a plate, the default utensil is fork, no matter what, right? If there's a plate, there's a flat Most plate. Most of the time, yes. That's why it feels more right, because it just, that's what your default goes to if you got a plate. Right, because you oh, wouldn't eat I, the ice cream off of a plate, necessarily. Yeah. I think a lot of it also depends on, I suppose, what you're eating, because I don't think I could eat, like, a kind of harder pie, like a like an apple pie that's, like, kind of has a thick crust. I don't know if I would want to eat that with a spoon, necessarily. Yeah. I like those plastic spoons, so that's pretty much your only option if it's a thick crust, right? Yeah, like, I... Because those forks will just bend right up, and you have no, like... Yeah. I mean, it depends. Some plastic forks are much more... Uh... Yeah, you're... Can't think of the right word. They... No, oh, that, that's, that's the end of the sentence. That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> just end it right there. Plastic yeah, okay. Some forks are more just, uh... <laughs> yeah. Can I insert a question? Okay, go ahead and insert yourself. How? How? No one's ever done this before. How do you eat a slice of cake? Like, in what methodical pattern do you tend to eat it? Because I usually put it where the uh, bottom is on the right side so that I can take, I can just eat the inside all the way and cut out, like, carve out the inside from the icing, and then I just eat all the icing in a couple bites. Is there icing on the bottom? No. I just do it so that I don't get into the icing with my right hand, so I don't have to go left-handed. So I really like I, that system. What do you guys think? I, I, I think I'm somewhat close to that system, basically, but I don't save all of the icing for the end. What I do is I kind of, I go, like, from the bottom to the top in kind of slices down the cake, and then I, so you're left with that one chunk on the end, that corner, where there's just like mm -hmm. all the icing, and I save that bite for last. Okay, yeah. But I don't that's, eat all. That's the like icing a hybrid right version of what I do. Yeah, I like. Yeah. That. What do you What do you think, Daniel? You know, Daniel doesn't answer the questions he asks. I don't answer the questions. Yeah, that's, I I don't really have a specific way. I couldn't. Uh... You must be a cake normie. Yeah, I'm a cake normie. <laughs> all right. Is it okay to go to? Is it okay to go to a restaurant alone? Yes. Hell yeah, that's about the only way I went to Waffle House. John Chandler and I were available to go with you. <laughs> I don't get that. Everyone's no. like, I gotta have someone with me if I'm going no. to eat somewhere. Just, 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 just go. Go yourself. Because when you go with other people, function. like going to someone with the movies. Oh my goodness. There's yeah. so much involved, right? You gotta you gotta worry about them. You got oh no, now we need two tickets. Oh, we need seats together. You know, what Compromise what are they where do they want to sit? Yeah, yeah, where do they yeah, what do you want to see? It's a whole thing. Same thing with the restaurant. Where are we going? What do we want to order? How much is this gonna cost us? How do we get there? How are we traveling? No. Are we gonna split it evenly or are we or how split are we splitting it based the check? on how much we were yeah. yeah. How are we splitting the check? Can I uh could I just insert a small, very funny story about uh going to the movies so when katie no. and i first <laughs> all right so katie katie and i when we first started dating uh one of the first things we did like the first dates we went on was we went to see uh avengers endgame and we went there and we got there and you know we were all you know this was very much like in the early days like oh this is going to be great uh and then we <laughs> We we get there and Peter Tilly is also there, uh, and he's like, "Oh hey, what's up? How are y'all doing? Y'all wanna y'all wanna watch this movie together?" Not knowing what was happening that we were 
dating at this point because this was like a month into this relationship starting or maybe even less uh <laughs> he was like yeah let me just like let, let me just sit right next to y'all let me just and so that was just because he realized i think about like just as the movie was starting like oh wait I'm definitely intruding, so it was just the weirdest experience I've ever had, and is the most Peter Tilly thing that I think has ever happened to me with Peter Tilly. He's a funny guy, though. He is. No, he's great, but... <laughs> he probably has a lot of tact relative to me, though, honestly, with that kind of stuff. And to be fair, Chandler, you, your relationship is, like, one of the most laid-back relationships ever. So, from I the outside. That's will... a good thing, though. No, no, I, in I a good way. That. That's what I'm saying. Like, like it'd be different. Like, I feel like it's much better for like, yeah. You know, it'd be different if Peter dropped in on another, you know, couple or something like that. Yeah, that was that was more, I suppose, <laughs> outspoken. That's not the right word, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying. Yeah, to say. yeah, okay, all right. I wouldn't consider it a good relationship though if that would be all it took to ruin the whole fucking night because our <laughs> dynamics so bad. I mean, it's like, come on. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Like Chandler and Katie's dynamic is so is so casual yeah. in that aspect in a good way. Um, yeah. All right, John, are you in love? That's a question. Nope. Is that what just you, John? Is that not for me? You can answer. I I think I am. Right, I'm gonna text that to Katie. <laughs> and they're not in love with Katie. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Well, I lost my place. Oh, there we go. Drops or Jupiter? Say that one more time. Drops or Jupiter? Drops. Drops or Jupiter? D R O P S. D R O P S. I don't understand the question. <laughs> Nothing? I love okay. Jupiter. All right. There you go. I also like Jupiter, but I don't know what I just answered. <laughs> uh, peas or peanuts? Peanuts. Yeah, peanuts. I like peanuts. They're like fifty percent of my diet. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys answered this one, so we'll just ask it again. Uh, is Tanner attractive? I think he's gotten more attractive. Whoa! Okay, I, I, you're, gonna, I, you're gonna have to go into detail on that one. I, I, <laughs> I think he looks the same. Been, has he been working out? I think he's. I think he's gotten more muscular. Uh, he will tell you he's been working out. <laughs> has he? You don't know. I. I don't know. I don't. I haven't asked him about that. He comes on the podcast like once a month. I guess I should ask him. So. I think he's coming on. No. All right. I think he's. I think he's been working out. So in that sense, he's more attractive. John? I haven't really seen him in a while. Yeah, I don't know. Seems... Chandler, when are you seeing... Oh, that band. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm in the other... They just split it in half, so I'm in the other yeah. half band. Oh, I, haven't... Yeah. I don't think I've even talked with you, Chandler. The worst band is that no. once. The lower... Yeah, just because yeah. they... We don't see each other at all. Because they, yeah, they're like, been... alright, no hanging around. Get out of here. Which makes yeah. sense. There's a pandemic, but... Unfortunate. I'd say well, the meme chats aren't more active. We aren't even getting to know each other, or you know anything in the group. Me, it's just yeah, I heard because no one knows each other. Everyone's shy. Tanner showed us uh, <laughs> that the new group me, and it was there was nothing there. Yeah. yeah well, there's think, nothing in the uh, old one. To be fair, there's probably more there than in the old one. Well, it's a little confusing that yeah, they made a new one be, too. Uh, I think it'll start to get a bit more active when um. Just come around next year. I think everything will start back up again. If there's a vaccine by then. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh. Okay. Came off the miss that, though. I hope Pep Band will be better. Yeah. Which, not think, that this is bad, but yeah, I like getting to know all the people. It can be real fun. Mm -hmm. Uh... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh... Are boneless wings just chicken nuggets? Pretty much. Yeah, they just are. You know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to say it. They are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Cream or sugar? Whole milk. And this is, this is all the way on the cream 
side of the spectrum. No, this is all the way. This is not. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Bringing more sugar. I guess you could choose whole milk, which is diet cream. Yeah. <laughs> diet cream. Yeah. Gim cream. Uh, Add some water to it. Uh, yeah, I'll pick cream. <laughs> you going cream? Yeah, yeah, definitely cream. You two are cream boys. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. John Robertson Chandler. You don't get to say. Boys. You don't get to make a comment like that. No, no, no. What are you, Daniel? Let me make fun of you. <laughs> I don't know. Sugar daddy. I know. Are you a sugar oh, mama? God. Are you a sugar daddy or a cream boy, Daniel? Why would you assume I'm a sugar yeah. daddy and not a sugar baby? <laughs> Either one, I, Daniel. I'm on the younger side. I'd have to. I don't think that's how that works. Not to me or not. <laughs> We're like two years apart. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you uh, looking for a sugar daddy, John? That's, that's what not. it sounds like. Nah. <laughs> He's got to pay his way through med school, if you know what I mean. Um, oh, yeah. Fair. Do you have nightmares? Only sometimes. Not really. We're occasional. Yeah. Huh. Do you remember your dreams often? I, I don't feel like I... I only ever remember nightmares, which kind of sucks. <laughs> mm. Down to the bottom here. Does, does, rarely, Google, does Google know where you are right now? Yeah. Probably. Three legs or four legs? Three legs. Tripods are pretty cool. Uh, four legs, or else the table will fall over. Well, I guess not necessarily. If you have one, like that's how tripods work. <laughs> Most tables have four legs. Yes. I don't think that that's means a, a good system. <laughs> it's a waste of money. Yeah. Control C or Control V. God no! I've been we're, I've been doing too much in spreadsheets. You're gonna hurt me. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're, let me find another <laughs> spreadsheet one here. Literally, like yesterday for six hours was just Excel. You should get into R. What is yes. that? Yeah, I'm heard of it. It's it's a programming language. It, yeah. It's based on like what Excel should be doing, but you can do it all in text form and make it really efficient. It could be more complicated if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, like Excel is the, Excel is for is to make R easier, basically. Yeah, I guess so. It, I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. It kind of yeah. It's if so if cool though. Yeah, if you're really good at it, but Chandler's just trying to copy and paste here. I'm just He's trying to control C, control V. Dude, dude. All right, we'll we'll just leave that one. Okay, speaking of that, is it possible to have pre TSD? No, because you find that a little bit better right? for me. It's pre TSD, so we all know what PTSD is, right? We're all familiar with that. To... This is pre traumatic stress disorder. Well, I guess if you know that the trauma is going to happen, I guess that's just anxiety. <laughs> so I guess yes. Is anxiety just pre TSD? Mm -hmm. It could still mm -hmm. be. PTSD because you're you're looking back on the experience of having been made aware that it's going to happen later. You're still looking back on something and being tra traumatized, right? No, you're not looking back because you're worried about what's going to happen. The worrying like is the PTSD. Yeah, like anxiety doesn't need to be about a thing oh. necessarily that's happened before. Oh, it could be something that okay. you're that's going to happen, which is I was thinking about the worry traumatizing you or something. Maybe. That would be, that's too meta, John. That's a. Yeah, yeah. It is that's really post pre TSD. <laughs> I've taken too many psych classes. They like to over classify shit. Yeah, clearly. Uh, here we go. Have you ever jumped out of a window? I don't remember. <laughs> Shanna's really thick and hard on this one. I don't know. I've I've been alive for twenty years. Maybe I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I have. I figured John had to have jumped out a window at some point. There's no, ah. there's no way you didn't try to make some weird escape. From what? I don't know. <laughs> Events. 
<laughs> we don't know what you do at night. Look, it's so dark in your place, and Chandler's as bright as bright as day. What's going on? Dude, I can make it even darker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Get spooky. How All right. Time. Is it okay to mingle at a funeral? In a romantic people. sense? Yeah, people always ask me to find mingle. Mingle is whatever you think mingle is. If it is in a romantic sense, no. I agree. If it's just talking to people, kind of. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Is kickball for people that are bad at baseball? Absolutely. Wow, yeah. no one's ever been that confident. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you? All right, you. It's because it's, it's just the, it's kickball is just a PE sport, right? That that's when everyone goes and There's plays kickball, kickball leagues. I think aren't there? I mean, maybe so, but like yeah, the, middle age my, my personal experience with kickball is you play it in PE because it's baseball, but you don't have to actually have any kind of hand-eye coordination. Or skill. Or I guess yeah. eye coordination. And it's still, it's it's much more fun for everyone, because you go and play baseball, because I've played baseball in PE before, and it wasn't fun, because everyone who didn't know how to swing a bat just didn't do anything the entire time. Yeah. Sounds like you're pulling from personal experiences here. I'm not good at baseball. A well is informed ever, answer. Is it ever appropriate to wear sunglasses indoors? Yes. Yes, if you are about to walk outside. <laughs> oh, I was going to say if you're a celebrity. That also, to block, yeah, to block paparazzi. Oh, okay. Yeah, no one's ever thought about that. Uh, okay, here we go. Does I'll let you know mean no? <laughs> Sometimes. Depends on who. <laughs> With a lot of people it is. Oh, go ahead and name these people. <laughs> Throw out the names. Nah, nah, you don't know them. <laughs> That's okay. They're definitely listening. Uh... Okay, here are country clubs just cults for old people? Yes. Yeah. Well, at least most of them. Maybe not most of them, a lot of them are. Some are laid back, but yeah, as a whole, I would say so, yeah. They are. Okay. Yeah, there's a country club for Mountain Brook close to where I used to live. I didn't live in Mountain Brook, I was just nearby. Um, and, like... The, like, you literally had to be, like, born from someone who was in the country club. You had to be, like, literally, like, a son or daughter. Or you had to be specifically invited in. Like, you couldn't ask. You had to be invited. Well, that's not necessarily what a cult is. That's just more of a... I don't know, but it certainly doesn't give particularly... Oh, here's another thing. Another weird thing about the state and city in which I live in. There was a place... It was just called The Club. There was a building on a hill called The Club. And I went there because it was someone threw like a, like a, basically like a pre-prom party that I got invited to at The Club, which is this ma absolutely massive building. And so I looked into like, all right, what is The Club? What is this for? And I did so much research. I delved into like every part of the internet I could. I still could not tell you what the hell the club is for, or how you join, or who its members are. It is absolutely a front for something. I have no idea. That's okay. All. <laughs> that's, that's all. <laughs> Sketchy shit, man. It was fun though. The party was fun. Well, that's that's important. You get to okay. tell people you went to the club for a pre bomb party. Tell the people no, you got invited to a party. So you tell them it's a country club. It was definitely not a country club. It was it was it was something else. Oh, okay. I thought I that's what you were I, saying. Okay. Yeah, I was. Basically, I think. So I think the person who hosted it's 
their parents were members of the club. However, they were members uh, of the club, and they just the building was empty, so they were like, "Oh, we can just have it there." Okay. Sorry, I'm just checking. Okay. Is soda an excuse to have dessert during the meal? Don't like this question. <laughs> Are you a big soda drinker? <laughs> no, I'm not. Like I, I used to be. I used to be a big soda drinker, and I mostly just drink water. But I still the, this this question unnerves me. <laughs> Why? And none of the others that unnerve you? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I still had an answer even if they did unnerve me. This one, it's like, every every logical part of me is like, well, yeah, kind of. But it just feels wrong to say that. I mean, you could be chugging down 60 grams of sugar from your soda. Wait. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Okay. John? I'll say yeah. If it's not, you know, a diet or zero or whatever. Which I honestly prefer. Don't you guys prefer how zero uh, the texture of it is? Coke Zero, for instance? The texture of I think the, the texture is supposed to be the same. <laughs> it's well, liquid with about... bubbles. You, you don't Oh, kind of, kind of, like, like you want to smack your. It, it just, it's nasty. That film on your teeth too. It's just. Oh yeah, the film on your teeth isn't fun. I'll give you that. All right. All right, I got plenty. But we can go as long as you guys want. Um, uh, I got. I'm, I'm, I'm out in five minutes. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one more. Okay, our potlucks just parties for lazy hosts. No. I don't think so. Well, I'm going to say not necessarily. It can be, but I think, I don't know. I like I like cooking something interesting. I have been getting into cooking recently. It's been fun. Oh, we'll do a Chandler cooking episode coming up in four years. Four uh, years. John? Yeah, I'll go with his answer. I agree. Okay. They can be, but I won't say it's a whole rule. Mm -hmm. We don't uh, generalize anything, here on the Experience Podcast. Anything, so. anything you guys want to say before we head out? Uh, I don't know. See you next year, I guess. I'll see you next time. You can't find one of your top tier people. Yep. I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be on the D tier of uh, Experience Podcast guests. <laughs>